Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are at St. Vincent de Paul. St. Vincent de Paul, we're going to do some thrift store shopping. This was voted number one in the city of Cincinnati for all thrift stores. So we're going to go in, look around, check it out, see if we can find some good deals. Everything you do here at St. Vincent de Paul is helping others. So just by shopping here alone, you're doing a good deed by funding back in to St. Vincent de Paul. They have a donation center off to the end here where if you want to donate anything, which is really awesome, just come and drop it off. They got different bins, you know, for like clothes and toys and all that stuff. It's pretty, pretty awesome what they do. Let's check it out. Yeah, here in the window, they got a banner. Voted number one thrift store in the city. I did see this online. Good to see they are showing this off here. Number one in the city again. One nice thing about St. Vincent de Paul also, say you buy some furniture or something, you can pull your car up here and they'll bring it right out to your car. They lift one of these doors here and they bring it right out to you. Pretty awesome. First thing we come up to here, look at these little pails they got here. Little patriotic pails, I love these. How much are these here? Uh, let's see, 50 cents. 50 cents, absolutely. I just noticed something. It has like a little piece of paper there. You can take that out, I believe, and write your name on it. It's be nice for like a little flower or something. 50 cents can't beat that. They got this premium photo paper here. This good photo paper right here. Do your own photos, 150 sheets, $3. Got this fun little home sweet home sign here. No price on this. I, I looked before. I don't know. They're pretty reasonable here, though. They probably probably give you that for 50 cents or a dollar. I'm not sure, but I know we've gotten things like that before where they just say, well, how about a dollar? Yes. Now, one thing about St. Vincent de Paul, especially the one at ours here, is, you know, you do got to look around. They kind of just toss it in here. But, you know, for the price, it's worth the, the treasure hunt. You know, it's kind of kind of cool in a way. Be yourself. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. We're adventurous, adventurous, kind, beautiful, helpful. It's be a nice sign to, to read every morning. Let's see. It says this was from Big Lots for $10, but they don't have a price on this. I'm willing to bet that's probably like a dollar or so. Got some really cool paintings here too. Look at this. Look at that. That is awesome. Let's see if they, okay, $4. Four dollars for that? Wow, that is definitely worth. That's worth four dollars for the frame alone. This is like canvas here. That is really nice. This frame is really nice. Found this welcome sign here. This is also four dollars. If I had to pick, I would choose that painting there for four dollars. That just seems too good to pass up. They got all these binders up here. All these different binders. A lot of these things don't have prices on them, but I don't know. I mean, probably look around like I would just if it's something you want I would definitely put in your cart and then if they give you a fair deal cool if they don't well move on I guess yeah a lot of this stuff doesn't have prices but that's pretty nice right there a little picture put your pictures in there pretty cool all kinds of photo albums oh this is like one of those older wow that is a thick thick photo album i do like how they they at least bunch stuff like photo albums together check this out well you can put your picture of your best caught fish ever right look at that that is so cool put your picture in behind here that way you have the evidence that you actually caught it four dollars for that i feel like is a fair deal this would be 20 25 dollars probably somewhere just for the the different themes Got the fishing pole here, the little basket. Got the lantern right there. That is really cool. Really cool. And all these different racks and stuff. Some of these, you know, put your apples in or something. $2 for this. I don't know if you can do like bargains or something. You might be able to say, well, I'll take this for a dollar. I don't know if they do that here. It's a cool looking bistro sign down there. All kinds of different fancy, like maybe some outdoorsish stuff. You know, hang something on your door or on your porch. Got the two Blue Jays there. Don't see prices on these things, but I'm sure they're very reasonable. The hand that gives gathers. That's right. 
One nice thing about St. Vincent de Paul here is say you buy something, but you don't have your truck or something to pick it up in, here you go. Now you've got, you can, they just put a sold sticker on it so everybody knows that it's been sold. They have this little corner cabinet thing here. If you take it today, $20. Look at this. Look at this. And this is solid, guys. This is solid wood right here. That's nice. And you're going to run into some issues with this kind of stuff where you have, like, you know, a door missing or something. And this might be impossible to replace because, you know, but you could repurpose this maybe. Maybe put a piece of glass here. I mean, this is like, this is, I don't know what kind of wood this is, but this is really good. Uh, $40 for this. Got all this canvas. You could, really, you could remove the door also. Remove the hinges so it looks like it was never there. Remove these. Then you got a nice space here. You got a drawer. Wow. They have all these mattresses. New mattresses. And here we got American flag back there. I'm sure that's just up here, but very patriotic. Love that. Love that nice touch. And they have clothes for days. I'm going to go look in the men's, but look at this. I got some really nice shoes up here. How much are these? Uh, is that $20? I don't know about that. I mean, I don't know what the brand of these are. They might be really expensive. Looks like that these are $20, but, you know, if they're, they're hundred and something dollar shoes, that might be worth it. Some really nice shoes here. I gotta say, these are 20 as well. So, I don't know if that's worth it for you shoes. Here's these, like uh little tips there twenty dollars for those i do like how they break it down into different departments like men's and women's and kids this is all men's shirts look at all these dress shirts this is nice nice look at this addison police department jacket here huh that's not too far from us down the way it's a little town little town off the ohio river beautiful little town actually if you've never been to addison Got some nice mom and pop restaurants down there. Let's see, we've got some different. See, this is Round Tree here in Yorkie. I'm not going to go through the ones and very reasonable prices here on these, though. Uh, let's see if I can find one. Here we go. Let's just randomly pick one here. Uh, says $4.99 for this. $4.99. Yeah, I mean. I don't know. I thought it'd be like a dollar or something, but times are changing, guys. Prices are getting expensive on everything. You'd probably pay $30, $40 for a shirt like that, even at Walmart. Let's see this one here. This one right here, $4.99. So that might be the magic number of all these shirts. I'm not really too sure. It's kind of funny that above the men's shirts, though, they have women's, women's shoes. These right here look fancy. These are $29.99, but $8. So I guess they're showing you what they cost somewhere else. $8 for these. It's kind of fancy. You need a good scrubbing, but you know, you can clean these. It's really nice. Oh, well, they got all these jeans, too. They got the Cremo Relax $7.99 for these. I wish they put what they originally were, but they may not know what they were originally. But, you know, one thing, though, is that they're probably not putting... I would definitely check them, you know, make sure they got the buttons and the zippers and make sure they zip up and all that. But $7.99 for these... They got, let's see, these look like a more regular jeans here. $7.99. That might be just a going price on all of these. $7.99 for these too. So you know these are going to be right about $7.99 for these jeans, no matter which ones they are. Here's some like stretchy khaki look-alike pants here. It's got like this Velcro belt thing on them. $6.99 for these. They got these pants right here. These are $4.99 for those. They got some of these Under Armour shirts here. And one thing I thought was kind of funny is, look, they got Kroger Manufacturing here. Kroger Manufacturing. That'd be a fun shirt to wear, huh, when you're going into Kroger. Look at this, though. They have a public shirt. <laughs> we don't even have Publix up here yet. Let's see how much that is. $3.99? Eh, I don't know. I, You know, I did expect some of these clothes to be a little cheaper than this, but... I understand they got to make money too and remember all the money that they're making is going right back into uh you know i know over 150 years saint vincent de paul has prided prided themselves on taking care of the homeless and you know making sure that the homeless have food 
and medicines and stuff like that. Uh, you can actually get prescriptions here if you can't get them at other places. If you don't have insurance and stuff, they work out stuff. Not really sure how that works, but uh, you know they do work on making sure that if you don't have money, you're able to get those things. I always like coming here for books. They always have a lot of different books. We're gonna check out more of these over on the wall. Let's see, War Stories 2. Fox News Channel. Here we got some other things going on. You can find a lot of good books here, but we'll check that out here in a few. Making our way up that direction. Got a briefcase here. Gonna be, oh, wow. That's a nice briefcase. $15 for this? I mean, I'm sure back in the day this would have cost a fortune. They have all kinds of different luggage and different backpacks and stuff like that. Um, and that's where, yeah, the stuff that we have at our St. Vincent de Paul may not be exactly the same as what you have at yours, but it will be similar. You will see a lot of the same things that you see here at other St. Vincent de Pauls around the country. May not be the same bag, but, you know, probably similar prices. Oh, look at this. This is cute. Little, little luggage here for a young one. Three dollars. Three dollars. Got some bike helmets here. Look like they have some war wounds on them, but three dollars for that. I mean, these are twenty-five, thirty dollars pretty much for the cheapest ones anywhere. Here we have some adjustable ankle weights. You know, tone the calf muscles, maybe strengthen the ankles. This is a Reebok. Uh, Four dollars. Four dollars. It's pretty awesome. I don't know what that V means. If you know what that V means, let me know. I know the written price on there. That's that's what they do to some items that they're just quickly trying to get through. Um, but yeah, boy, all kinds of stuff. It's like going through a huge garage sale. They got solar ankle wrist weights here. All the different, look at this. Random finds. Got a little deluxe pool here for the summertime. That says $7.99. I don't know if that is the price for that. Uh, it may be $7.99. It kind of looks like that St. Vincent de Paul sticker we saw before. So that is probably the price of that. But I don't know. That's nice. Sit in and cool off in the hot summer days. I like bin hunting here because these products are usually pretty cheap. Now, oh, okay. So you know this works. That's a heavy duty flashlight. It looks like it may need new batteries. But let's see, $4 for that? That's like a big mag flashlight there. I know my brother would appreciate this. He's a drummer. Oh, $4. $4? You get five of them, but he has so many different drumsticks. This probably work out good for him because, you know, he'll, he'll break one and then that'll fill in the extra one that comes with this. But may not be the best brand. Oh, Rock Band? Oh, isn't that a game? Yeah, but they're still drum, real drumsticks. I can tell that at least. They just have stuff everywhere in here. They got these badminton racks here, $2, $2. You bought that set from Walmart and you're, you happen to break one of them, even though it's probably pretty much impossible to break one of these for badminton. I don't know, it probably happens. St. Vincent de Paul is one place you can come look. These are like $2, $2. This one right here, Kramer Cup, that must be a, a higher brand or something, 350 for that one. But look at these, these are pretty nice. Pretty nice, this one looks like it's been taped up a little bit. I don't know, you probably, if it doesn't have a price on it, I would say, well, you got other ones over here for $2, so I would take that as well. Yeah, we got some drills here. I'm sure they'd let you plug these in to make sure they work. Uh, and I'm sure you can always return them if they don't. Now, this doesn't have the batteries, but is that regular? Okay, uh, $2, really? $2 for that? I used to have that same drill. Look at this one. This one comes with the battery. 12 volts uh let's see does not say the price but again you don't see some of the price like i would take this up there i would make sure it worked and then i'd be like i'll give you five dollars for it like i feel like that's a fair price that something's unopened doesn't have the charger you're gonna have to find a charger for this somewhere uh, unless it has you know you probably have to plug it in and charge it on the thing if you don't but these are the things you got to kind of think about when you're shopping at places like that like what else am i going to have to buy for this and they got hedge trimmer here got a little sawzall no battery though six dollars six dollars you know if you know how to work on these things i mean even if it's you know because you know you may run into somewhere you may have to repair it so if you know what you're doing with that look at this 
table saw. Eight dollars. Eight dollars. Or eight U. I assume this is what this is, is eight dollars. So they tried to charge any. And I've been looking at these and I haven't seen any. Yeah, that says eight as well. So I assume that blade doesn't look too bad. Oh, wait. No, there is no blade. Okay. So you would have. Oh, wait. Yeah, no. Okay. Okay. Well, you know, it's worth it to you. Seems like a pretty cool place to find some of these things, though. Um, but yeah, obviously, this is probably someone who has used these before and knows what to do and what they're going to need extra to buy them and to put it back together. Lots of exercise equipment. I guess they thought this would do good with the New Year resolutions for the year. Got a treadmill here. It's an old treadmill. Uh, 2220. I don't know what that means. This right here, oh my goodness, take today, $15. This was $20. $20 for this treadmill right here. Now, you definitely want to make sure you plug it in and make sure it works good. But, geez, if you take it today, $15, even $20. I mean, if it works good, that's amazing. Check this out. Looks like we got some DVDs here. Got some different, uh, see if I see any good ones here. Uh, I don't know. Let's see how much they are. I'm seeing a lot of prices on these. I don't see a, a sticker above either. I would like to think that they would be like a dollar, maybe two dollars. I mean, these are DVDs. These aren't Blu-rays. Um, yeah, no prices on them. So yeah, you would definitely have to pick one you like, and then and then ask. Uh, and also make sure you check the DVD. Make sure it's not all scratched up, but. You know, yeah. Oh, look at this. Here we go. Here we go. Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones bonus material. Okay, this is not the movie. This is just a bonus material. I'd be like, okay, I'll, I'll take that away for free for you. Uh, <laughs> they actually have this. So if you have Disney Plus, um, they actually have this bonus material as part of the Indiana Jones collection, which if you pay for Disney Plus anyway, it's free. So you can watch it. For free and i know everything is mostly streaming now but look at this oh i thought that was uh sleepwalkers that is sleep under not really sure what that is but yeah i'm not seeing any prices on these i don't know if i if i see somebody i'll ask them how much these are okay well i found it here movie prices one dollar per disc so if it's like a two-pack or something you're probably going to pay two dollars and then they have the vhs wow i didn't even see any vhs's that's crazy. 50 cents for those, $3 for Blu-rays. Yeah, I feel like that's a fair price. Well, I found the good DVDs here. I feel like somebody actually said, ah, we're going to put the best ones, the funny ones here. I've seen a lot of funny ones. Wedding Crashers is hilarious. They got American Wedding here. National Treasure 2, that's a good one. We like, but that's one of Jessica's favorite movies. The first one, National Treasure. She loves that movie. Gold Member, Austin Powers. Yeah, baby. I got like a little theme going on here. Look at this little teapot here. How much is this? Let's see, four dollars for that. That's pretty, pretty fancy teapot right there. And they got a little gravy bowl. Look at that. I know someone who needs one of these. Uh, as a matter of fact, yeah, I'm gonna get this. Two dollars. It's a good deal. Look at this. Look at that. It's like clay. Three dollars. Put like your little baked beans in there. Something that is not clay. I, I actually, I'm not really too sure to be honest with you. But three dollars. That's fun. Put your little baked beans in there and make it fun and exciting. Good themed items here. Uh, as we come across, got a yellow and pink theme going on. Got a little different. Maybe this. You know, if you're having people over, put some coffee creamer in there. What is that? One dollar. Is that one dollar? I don't know. Kind of hard. It's like a whole set here. Uh, $3, I mean, it's broken down in pieces, $3 for this. Wow, look at these. These are sharp. Got a matching salt and pepper shaker here. $2 a piece. Be like, I'll give you $3 for both. No, no, you don't want to do that. Oh, look at this. This is nice. Oh, that's real nice. Oh, that's like glass. Let's see. For you are my rock and my fortress, therefore lead me and guide me. That is really awesome. How much is this? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. My mom loves lighthouses, so yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. 
Look at this. You got the peanut guys. This is like a coin bank right here. This is like a jukebox, but it's really a gumball machine here. Put your little gumballs in here. They drop down here. That's pretty awesome. You got the the lazy M&M guy on the lazy chair. Got a bobblehead Mickey Mouse. Let's see. Eh, Five dollars for that. Eh, I don't know. Let's see. How much is this guy? Uh, Four dollars. Four dollars for the, the red M&Ms. This looks like something that may have came out of the church. Like maybe a collection plate. A communion plate or something. I don't know. Let's see. Let's set that to the side for a second. Is this like a double? Oh, yeah. Okay. It's got the bottom. $20 here for this. $20. Uh, and, there, you know, there could be many different uses for that. It just looks like something that came out of the church. That is really nice material. That's, that's like solid metal. If you're looking for a lamp, they got plenty of them. But, again, I would recommend plugging them in. You know, maybe bring a light bulb with you with the intention that you may buy one. Just make sure it works. That way you don't take it all the way home. And look at this one right here. This is really nice. $20 for this. And the lampshade looks really nice, too. I mean, yeah, a little scuff mark there. But you can clean that up. $20? That is really cool. And if you find a lamp, they do have, like, extra lamp shades, too. So maybe they'll interchange. You know, some of these I don't think so. Because look at this. That's pretty sharp. That's pretty, uh, that's got some art to it there. Uh, but yeah, some of these are really cheap. This is $2. This is $1.50. $1.50. Kind of like cut out blue flower looking thing. Got a giant clock here underneath her. Got clocks everywhere in this place. I think I found where all of Doc Brown's clocks are. They are right here. Out of time. No problem here. Time to go back to the future. They have this really nice pull out dresser here. Got some fun writings in here, like world travelers and different things, different brands from the past. A little scuffed up here, but you can kind of buff this out and uh, use some different pine saw, clean it up or whatever. And then we got $45, but I'll tell you what, that is really solid for $45. Got this nice outdoor glass patio table here with the uh, thing that you can put your umbrella in. $20 today, even $25 is worth it. That is a great deal. Wow. Got this little one here. I don't see a price on it. Maybe they haven't put a price on it yet. They got this awesome little glass table right here too, though. It's sold. And that's a shame because I would consider buying that. Once it's sold, they take the price tag off. Uh, wow. Okay, this is something else that doesn't have the back thing. But look at this. You can really clean this up, guys. This is nice. Maybe this was an old TV stand. You can see they even have the outlets right here. Look at that. They got the outlet things right there. I don't know if it works, but hey, you know, you can always replace it with one if you need. Looks like a couple of the shelf things are missing. It is as is, but I mean, come on. $5. Put a little creativity into this thing. It'd be awesome. There is just so much stuff. So much. I mean, it's really worth coming and checking some of this out. Hey, look at this. Of course, it's the simple things that I like. One dollar. One dollar for that. Hold all your pens. Look, it's like one of those little money uh, things. Little money case. You know, if you're doing like a fair or some, maybe a garage sale fair. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm talking about. Like if you're doing like one of the church festivals or something, you're keeping money in something. Uh, don't know about the lock thing there. Uh, so you want to pay attention to that. Here's a little little file cabinet here maybe for some different index cards maybe something where you can put your recipes or something like that that'd be nice check this out can you look here and see the one thing that i'm interested in i'll give you one clue how's that super dan finding super deals today that's right look at this that's a nice cup right there that's a really nice cup. Two dollars. Two dollars. That's pretty nice. I already have one very similar, so we're just gonna let let some other lucky person get that for two bucks. All kinds of different cups and plates. Boy, that looks a little dangerous. The leaning tower of plates right there. Uh, let's see. What's nice about this is, you know, you can really find like some themed out things. Like you can find like, maybe not a whole set, but if you're looking for some, I'm sure you can get these for really cheap. 
they got some different holiday oh no it's not holiday it's just a just a normal day one dollar dollar fifty dollar fifty that is really nice lots of fancy like look at these look at this this is real glass real glass ice cream sundays that is sweet one dollar guys one dollar well that one says three dollars or is that what that three uh let's see i'm not really sure i'm not really sure with the confusion they may give it to you for a dollar i would just ask a lot of people here are very friendly uh, me and jessica have actually been here quite a bit but you know we've never really done a video in here to show off some of this stuff and i'm kind of glad that i am because i'm looking at things now that normally i wouldn't really you know look at normally and we get a lot of comments on these kind of things on the channel so you know i wanted to check these out i know i'm kind of filming in wide angle today so it may look a little different than some of our videos but i want to make sure we capture everything that way if you see something you know if you see something that looks like Maybe there's some value here. Make sure you let us know down in the comments um, because we've heard stories of people buying some things from St. Vincent de Paul and other thrift stores where it's really worth some of these prices. So, you know, I, I don't know if the eBay days are still intact, but I'm sure I know a lot of people uh, still do like buy these things up and then try and sell them online. So I'm sure there's a lot of people that still do that, but uh let's see now that's just a lid i wonder if they know that that's a dollar i mean i don't know you could use it for something else i guess look at this little contraption you can make your own lemon or orange juice here squeeze it two dollars for that i'll tell you what if you're just buying a house or something they want to check out st vincent de paul look at some of these different pictures even if you don't want the pictures for twelve dollars some of these frames I mean, this frame right here, I guarantee you, would cost a lot of money somewhere else. That's a cool picture in that, too. I like the roses here. But look at this frame. It's like the frame is worth it alone. $25 for that. They have a ton of Christmas stuff. A ton. And I'll tell you what, a lot of this stuff is really fun, too. Let's see the Santa right here. I like this. I like that guy. Let's see. $4. $4. That's pretty awesome. Got a different little uh, um, stocking holder here. That's fun. That's $12.99. We know that's not the price. $3. $3. That's pretty good. Christmas stuff everywhere. Oh, look at this. Do the whole family here. Noel. Noel. Spelled out. That's pretty awesome. Okay. Yeah, the different uh, stocking holder. If you don't have a mantle or something or anywhere you can hang them, these are really nice. Got some different snow globes here. I love this one. That's pretty cool. Three dollars for that? Come on. That is awesome. Let's see if it still plays. Wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Wow, guys. It's just endless here. It is absolutely endless. It's a nice little birdhouse here. Two dollars for that. Fun and festive. Somebody painted this. You know, this is like one of those ones that you create yourself. Somebody actually did this. That is really awesome. It's probably worth way more just for that, right? Way worth way more than two dollars. Just the fact that somebody, somebody's kid or adult or somebody, somebody did this, and that is really cool. I like that. We got some of these fun family frames here. Oh my goodness! Look at this. This is one entire thing. You could have your whole family tree on this thing. Oh my goodness. I'm not even going to move that because it, it doesn't... I'm not going to flip it over to see the price. Unless it says nope. But this is really neat. I like seeing all the different holiday stuff here. They have way more Christmas than Easter. But I wanted to point this out because Easter's coming up. Look at some of these things. This is really cool. You want to deck... Look at this. Look at this. A little teapot. Oh my goodness. I'm four dollars. I don't even care. Jess gonna love this. She loves her tea. Look at this. Four, I wonder how much does it cost somewhere else. This is really like really nice. Kind of heavy too. So I was kind of just looking at some of this stuff here and look below us. Oh goodness, that is R2D2. Now he is missing his little silver thing, but you know what? I could fix that really easily. Some aluminum foil. <laughs> no, I'd use something else. I got a little I don't know. That is too cool, though. I bet that used to move at one time. I'm not going to get it, but just want to point that out. That is really awesome. 
Also, make sure you check your St. Vincent de Paul. You'll usually find a lot of, of course, they sell quickly, uh, but they'll sell like a lot of older, some of the schools, different, like Elder Panthers is one of the high school, very popular uh, football team, high school football team here in Cincinnati. They got the jewelry box here. Look at this. That is too cool. But yeah, if they, uh, you know, you'll find like around here, you'll find a lot of Bengals stuff, Cincinnati Red stuff, Bearcats, uh, Xavier, um, all kinds of different sports gear. But yeah, they do sell quick. So it's worth worth coming in to St. Vincent Paul every couple weeks just to check it out. Look at this guy. This guy looks fun. Yeah, it's kind of like a, I kind of thought that was Beetlejuice at first. In case Stallone. Hmm. Well, how much is that guy? No price. Bet they give you that for a dollar. Oh, this looks like my old dog. That looks like my old dog right there. I like that. Book prices, paperbacks, 50 cents, hardbacks, $1. Guys, you can't beat it. You can't beat this. And usually you can find some really good books in here. I remember I bought the original Jurassic Park book here. And then right down the next row, they have the second book. I love Michael Crichton. He's a good, good author. Way different in the books than it is in the movie. So if you haven't read uh, the original Jurassic Park, you should. Although it is more of an adult type book. I, I always kind of looked at it as more of a horror story uh, than a big blockbuster Spielberg movie. But they turned it into that. And arguably better than the book, in my opinion. I mean, the movie was awesome. But the book is... Well, no, I don't want to say anything else. No, no spoiler alerts, but it is way different than the movie. Definitely check it out. They got a lot of war books here, which I do like that. I can assume that a lot of our retired soldiers maybe donate some of their books to St. Vincent de Paul as well. Look at this. You can even find some Tom Clancy books. That's pretty awesome. Um, to be honest with you, it doesn't look like they have as much as they used to, but they're kind of scattered throughout the entire store. Wow, Tom Clancy everywhere. Huh. And they got... Uh, some other things too. I know Jess got a couple books here. Um, one of her uh, favorite, she got a couple of one of her favorite authors. I can't remember her name, but you know, she found a few of them here. Got some, uh, yeah, Tom Clancy everywhere. Somebody was a Tom Clancy fan. I do like how they try to break these down. They got like thriller and mysteries right here. And again, these uh, paperbacks, 50 cents. I like hardback books because I wear contacts and it's just easier. The print is always a little bigger and i can read it a little better so kind of stay away from paperbacks just because of the small writing but i do have reading glasses i feel like the older older and older i get the more and more i need those no matter what the case is but yeah definitely a good amount of books here but not as much as they used to have here so i wouldn't be surprised if these vhs um movies will be worth something someday because eventually they're just going to fizzle out everywhere got some of the indiana jones and mind you these are 50 cents a tape 50 cents a tape and look at this clash of the titans this is another one of jessica's favorite movies we don't have a vhs player but i bet some of these like something like this this career here the forgotten war now this is a seven vhs box set it has all of them in there i don't know how much that would be but i bet that's worth something someday of course you're gonna pay 50 cents for each one because it's 50 cents per tape but that still seems like it's well worth it all of these disney movies I know are worth more than 50 cents. Uh, these sell online. Boy, they got a lot of them too. Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast. And yeah, you can get a pretty penny for these. They have a lot of the old dis. Boy, Jessica might have to come here. She might uh, collect on these. And I don't know if they're worth that much, but I know that I, you always see them when you're on like some of those like thrifting websites, people who are selling some of this stuff. Disney movies, the old VHSs always sell really well. So yeah. Might be looking into it. I guess some people just gave up on them. And we got all these different Cincinnati history magazines here. Now these are, you know, outdated. So where to eat now might not be where to eat now. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool they have some of this stuff. Found some of their sports gear here. Looks like we have AJ Green's jersey here. I wonder how much they're asking for that. Let's see. $10? What? $10 for AJ Green's jersey? That is pretty awesome. Here's Andy Dalton, $10.99 for that. Got some different Reds jerseys here. Let's see, who was that? Oh, just Reds, Reds heads. Then we got uh, Todd Frazier's old shirt there. Used to love Todd Frazier. Brandon Phillips, good old BP. 
They've got all this jewelry too. I mean, lots of fancy looking stuff here. That's pretty cool. What are these? Some different charms there. Got some different watches. That's really cool. I'm sure that chain there is fake gold, but hey, this is uh, pretty cool. I didn't even know they had this stuff. I, I don't know if this is new or I just never came back here. But yeah, they got uh, a lot of bracelets and stuff. Look at this right here. That's pretty cool. It's a nice necklace. Got some different earrings. Oh, look at this. They got like an old camera there. $15? Really? That's probably just for the handle grip, I would assume. Yeah. There's no way that camera's $15. Got some of the different flashes here for $5. If you have one of the old style cameras in here, got a bunch of uh, Blu-rays here. And these would be $3, like they said before. V for Vendetti. V for Vendetta. Yeah, these are some good movies in here. $3. They are behind the case, so you'll have to ask them. Yeah, they got some good ones. A Team, Taken. I don't know how this would really work out for some people, but they've got wedding dresses. Wedding dresses. I mean, not many, but I mean, these are pretty nice. Wow, really nice. I'm not even going to mess with that. Um, it does look like they have different prices on these 25% off invent of 4t clothing uh, we got 50% off yellow tag clothing and a dollar 49 red tag clothing wow some really nice dress shirts here as well got a nice jacket here I think this area in the back corner is where they're trying to keep things that uh, you know some of the fancier dresses that they have and I did find more wedding dresses over here um, yeah, you know I mean it's worth taking a look at probably save a fortune how much wedding dresses cost these days tell you what that's cool to see check this out they got a bunch of cds as well if you still collect cds they got vinyl here look through all the different albums they got these everywhere and look at this they got cassette tapes cassette tapes that is crazy wow i ain't seen a cassette tape in years no price on this maybe they haven't put a price on it yet but look at this it's one of those old style sewing tables. Wow, that is really cool. Well, that was our adventure to St. Vincent de Paul today. I gotta say, it was a good one, guys. I, I can see why it's voted number one thrift store in the city. They have so much. I couldn't even cover like a third of what they have. They've really added on uh, since the last time I've been here. But again, we kind of like go through the same stuff when we come here, like the books. And stuff like that but it's really worth checking out everything they have here and they have the charitable pharmacy which if you have trouble with with medicines and stuff like that if you can't get your medicine make sure you come in here and talk to them here at st vincent de paul they are so nice here guys there are some really good people working at st vincent de paul here they they just love everybody uh one of the workers here was talking about her dog that she just got like a few weeks ago um and, and just so happy everybody's so happy about life here everybody shopping here seems very appreciative of what they're giving and what they're getting it's just an all-around great store i gotta say uh my hat's off to saint vincent de paul and what you're doing here you're still working miracles 150 years later i got my stuff i got the gravy bowl for mom i got her that um the lighthouse with the the psalm the um bible verse on it i got the the easter teapot for jess uh what else did i get i got something else oh yeah and the little patriotic little i'm gonna put like a little plant in that or something or use it for something it was 50 cents i like i i'm a patriotic person i love having little things like that for 50 cents i mean i'll, I'll make something out of it but definitely worth coming and checking out through saint vincent de paul anything that you liked in this video make sure you let us know down in the comments i always like pointing these kind of things out I mean, it's nice to see stuff to where you're getting a good price. Some of the stuff, yeah, some of the clothing maybe could be a little cheaper, but I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. They could be very high dollar brands too. And I just, I don't know. I buy most of my clothes at Walmart or, you know, some other places, but I mean, you know, I'm just saying like some really good deals on this stuff. Even the shoes, like some of those shoes for $20, they look like some pretty high end, pretty high end shoes. So I really don't know. I'm not an expert when it comes to that stuff. But again, let me know down in the comments if you are and if you saw anything in here that maybe I should have bought not knowing 
the uh, kind of deal that it was. I do know those Disney VHS tapes, those things, I don't know how much they sell for these days, but I know a while back they were selling for a good amount of money on like eBay. I know there's a lot of collectors out there. So something you may want to check if you're a collector, if you do eBay, stuff like that, you may want to check on some of those things. But anyway, guys, awesome trip to St. Vincent DePaul. I love this place. We're going to have to come back. I'm going to have to come back with Jess so we can do some more treasure hunting. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. With all that being said, I am out and always remember the adventure is out.